What's up, peoples? It's your boy, MM2K, back again with another one. Hey, yo, can y'all do me a huge favor? Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up. Now, before we get too knee-deep into this one, I need y'all to do me a favor, okay? I get it that you're watching this on YouTube, and it's great that I can connect to you guys on YouTube. However... We got some stuff that we're dealing with on this platform and it kind of put a big hiccup on us or caused a lot of problems for us rather during the E3 2019 coverage that we tried to, to provide via PNTS um, and some of the stuff that we were doing with broadband bullies. So I'm spreading the love. OK, we are going to have exclusive content to all three platforms, as you can see on the screen right now. I have a Mixer uh, channel, and more predominantly, I have a Twitch channel, okay? What I need you guys to do is make sure after watching this video that you go to twitch.tv forward slash mightymost2000. Go follow me there. You can also go follow me on Mixer, but more notably, follow me on Twitch ASAP because we're going to have exclusive content there and my biggest individual project. That, that I'm going to start as of as as to date will be uh, I will be doing that on Twitch so you definitely don't want to miss that we're gonna have uh, people on that project such such as next gen 720 Nethel, some other people and some other big names as well all right so you definitely don't want to miss that okay with that being said let's get into the nitty-gritty here okay now we have NPDs that were released this uh this month for the month of may that represented the month of may okay and as you can see this illustrious game that i'm playing right here which is rage 2 it's a it's so much fun i'm loving this game is also one of the games listed on npd so matt piscatella did his monthly presentation he went over some interesting numbers and i wanted to go over with you guys and gals all of the most notable takeaways from this presentation. Again, these are the May 2019 uh, NPD numbers for um, that are being presented in June. All right, and they represent all of the North American game sales as far as dollars are concerned. Uh, NPD deals specifically with dollars, okay? Not individual units sold, but dollars. But if you do the math, you can get individual units sold numbers and so forth and get very close to them. So here are some of the biggest takeaways. Uh, first and foremost, for the month of May for 2019, it was a very, very slow month. Um, it's down 11% year over year. And May isn't always the biggest uh, month as far as video games are concerned, but this one was particularly sluggish. Um, this was the worst month of May in 21 years according to Matt Piscatella, as far as NPD numbers are concerned. We haven't had a May this abysmal <laughs> since 1998, okay? And I don't know what games came out then or, you know, what what, what the console, I can't remember. I mean, I've been gaming well beyond before that, prior to that, but I can't remember what was out around that time. But again, in the, 20, in the past 21 years, this is the worst that it's been in the month of May, all right? Uh but was kind of offset that it could have been even worse, according to Matt. If it wasn't for the phenomenal sales, software-wise and hardware-wise, that are coming from the Switch gaming console unit or handheld or hybrid, whatever the hell you want to call it, okay? And Matt made it, uh, he made it poignantly clear, right? He said, particularly as far as those slumping sales, except for Nintendo Switch, he said you had a slump in sales with Xbox and PlayStation, but more notably with Xbox, particularly, I think, the word that he used with Xbox. OK, but despite those uh, low numbers, Mortal Kombat 11 was the best selling May title and Mortal Kombat 11 in May, which May represents the second month that it's been out. This represents the highest selling uh numbers or unit volume for a mortal kombat game in its second month ever you know if that means anything to you that's a lot of you know data and 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 data sets and stuff to go through but 
This is the best second month of a Mortal Kombat game ever. All right. Now, I've noted that Switch offset a lot of the, the bad sales, you know, as far as NPD was concerned. Well, Switch, of course, is uh, once again the best selling uh, platform. And it's the only one to show year over year growth for hardware and software sales. Okay. So, so switch is just killing it. All right. It's killing it and it's doing phenomenally well. And it's the only thing that kind of like held NPDs just to a 21 year <laughs> uh, low could have been even worse. But with that said, let's move on to another game that kind of surprised everybody. Um, it's called Total War Three Kingdoms. And Total War Three Kingdoms, according to Matt Piscatella, was the first PC game, PC exclusive game, to rank in the top three. So this is the first game that was exclusive to PC, according to Matt, that ever ranked in the top three on NPD. Okay, so it's interesting. Um, what's also been uh, quite notable is the top five overall games, okay, for the month of May. Number one, of course, again, is Mortal Kombat 11. Number two, for the second month straight, is Days Gone. And for a PlayStation exclusive, even though I poked a lot of fun at it, and a lot of us poked a lot of fun at it, and was teasing the uh, PlayStation fanboys, and even though these numbers are low, for it to be number two, for it to have that placing, it's still impressive. So kudos to uh, Ben Studios and the Days Gone for still holding the number two spot. And again, number three is uh, Total War Three Kingdoms, that uh, PC exclusive. Uh, rounding it out in the last two spots, the game, this illustrious game that you see here, Rage 2, was number four. And back in the top five, it just won't go away, damn it. GTA 5 rounds out the top five spot for... Uh, the month of may all right so here goes the top five games for the year so so far for year to date 2019 here goes the top five games mortal kombat 11 kingdom hearts 3 the division 2 even though i reported in an earlier video that division 2 sales weren't where ubisoft expected them to be except for on pc number four is anthem which is a surprise and number five is the Resident Evil 2 remake. So that rounds out the top five for year to date. So with that said, before we go, I just want to give you some notable mentions here and just give you a little rant here as far as the, the numbers that I'm about to go over with you right now. Um, notable mentions is that Sony has two to three titles in the top 10 list for the 12 month rolling calendar year. So that's where they take, they go from this May all the way to May of 2018. And they look at what volume is within the 12 month rolling calendar. It has, um, Sony has two to three titles within that 12 month rolling uh, calendar period. And for the year to date period, they have about two, maybe three games. I know two of them are uh, days gone and MLB. So, under both litmuses, Sony has at least two to three games within both of those litmuses. However, Microsoft has none in those litmuses. Now, I'm not talking about for May 2019 standalone. I'm talking about if you go back, if you just rank the, the volume and the numbers and, and the dollars and stuff sold, if you go from May to May, go from May 2018 to May 2019, and you judge that and you look at those numbers, then you separately go to year to date 2019. Microsoft has no titles, zero titles, no crackdown, no state of decay, no sea of thieves, nothing. And NPD for that litmus. That includes Minecraft. That includes Minecraft. So think about that, people. It's just something that, I, that I, I thought it was interesting that I pointed out that Matt necessarily didn't point out, but in looking at everything, I noticed. Because Microsoft is going with this kick of, we want to put everything everywhere, right? And this is going to be successful. And then you have 
on the heels of this E3, which was very polarizing, right? You have a lot of Xbox enthusiasts really upset about it. And then you have the murmurs of these rumors of possibly were layoffs at Xbox. And there could be no more inside Xbox. I mean, don't all, there are rumors right now. And then you throw this in the mix as well. And then I kind of talked about this on Next Gen 720's channel to where if you look at Microsoft right now, they're really not positioned to easily take number one in any sector as far as it comes to their gaming business. They're not number one to, to, to take the, the, the console business because they're not focused on the console. So they're just giving that up and it's just an ends to a means. They're not focused on the, uh, well, they are focused on the streaming aspects of it as far as console people streaming stuff. But here's the problem. Once PlayStation now goes day and date, that's going to be the more popular service period. All right. And then you look at the PC offerings, right? As far as PC is concerned, you have the combination of Google Stadia and Uplay and whatever other services combines with Google Stadia. And then you have Steam, which appear to be more popular services on PC. And you might say, oh, MM2K, you don't know that. Look, you've had Xbox do Play Anywhere and all that type of stuff for a very long time, and their game still can't do well consistently on NPD, right? Even with Play Anywhere. Even releasing day and date on PC in a lot of cases. Right. With, with, with a, an exception or two. So that's not a given. So you really don't have a firm grip to say that Microsoft is just poised to run away with it. Number one anywhere. And you may say, well, MM2K, that doesn't matter. Even if they're not poised to run away with it as far as being number one anywhere, at the very least, they're going to do well, you know, kind of like a GE. Well, the problem with that is GE is a like service, is a like brand. You know what I'm saying? That has, you know, uh, some good mind share. So even though they're spread everywhere, they may not be number one in a particular field they're doing well in all the fields that they're involved in. Microsoft doesn't have that same luxury. And then if you have a situation where, again, in a 12-month rolling calendar period, along with year-to-date, ain't none of your games <laughs> in the top 10 games. For those two litmuses, you're not rolling into next generation on a high note. So that can spell problems for you, okay? So I just wanted to share all that with you guys. Thought it was interesting, you know what I'm saying? But definitely check out Matt Piscatella on Twitter and on YouTube. For some reason, Matt has me blocked. If you have a pipeline of Matt, just let him know. MM2K is a good dude. You can unblock him, but that's okay. You know... Who am I, right? <laughs> With that said, hey, yo, that's it from your boy MM2K. Hey, let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below because who cares what I think, right? But if you did like what I had to say, if you do care about what I think, I'm on the corner of every boulevard. You know what I'm saying? Check out my links below to follow me. Hey, yo, I do a show with your peoples. Snow Bunny, Neethals. Dirt Griggity is called Scram Punks. We air it on Dirt Griggity's YouTube channel every Wednesday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Just check out hashtag Scram Punks for more details on that. And last but not least, follow my brethren, the Broadband Bullies. We are doing the damn thing, you know what I'm saying? Check out that Discord link, okay? Check out that Patreon link because we need your support in order to keep this material pumping and keep it coming, all right? And check out that gear because it's fly. And as always, you have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.